Hello ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Red Adolescence and welcome back to another video. Thank you all very much for tuning in. And today I have the pleasure of talking to you guys about a 2006 fragrance. Man, it's been a long time. This one by Jean-Claude Elena is called Terre d'Hermes, so make sure to stay tuned. Now before I begin, I just want to mention that this bottle was sent to me by Forever Lux. They are based in New Jersey and I have my own coupon code for that company. The coupon code is Steven20. That's going to get you 20% off your entire order, no minimum, free shipping, fast shipping, and they have really friendly customer service and really high reliability and all authentic and genuine fragrances. Now this is a fragrance that's been highly requested of me and I love Jean-Claude Elena. Everything from Un Jardin sur, sur le Nil to the Hermesens line. And this one, going back to 2006, I know it's been a long time, uh, is one of my favorite fragrances, but I didn't pick it up until recently. And I'll tell you the reason why in just a little bit. And uh, let's go ahead and start things off by taking a closer look at the presentation. So here is the box. This is Eau de Toilette Concentration. Terre d'Hermes written at the top with the iconic horse and carriage, which is uh, sort of um, expected of the Hermes brand. And then at the very bottom, you have the serial number punched into the box in the upper right-hand corner. Nothing going on at the back except for the ingredients down at the very bottom. And then you have the Hermes insignia once again at the very top of the box. Now, as far as the bottle is concerned, you have a very classy looking bottle. Uh, the cap actually screws down. You have to rotate it clockwise in order to reveal the atomizer. The distribution on this one is a little bit narrow, but it does get the job done. And then you have nothing going on at the very bottom, nothing going on at the back, but all of your information is printed on the side of the bottle. So just take note of that. And the serial number is in the bottom right hand corner. You can see it's laser etched in there. And that was a presentation for Terre d'Hermes by Hermes. Now, Jean-Claude Elena is known for making very sort of watery, aqueous, and transparent scents. What I mean by that is they don't feel too dense or uh, confined or squeezed in together or tightly packed up, is that the notes all have their own personality and it smells multi-dimensional, but it has this sort of watery component that is sort of the leap motif of the fragrance as it were, or the ingredients that he uses in his fragrances. And this one here is no exception. If you've tried any fragrance by Hermes, you know that they're usually very sort of light and bright. I'm talking about fragrances like Un Jardin Sur Le Nil, Sur Le Toit, Après La Mousson, this one, Voyage de Hermes. There's a consistent theme that runs through them. And with this fragrance, Terre d'Hermes, it's orange, it's pepper, it's vetiver, it's grapefruit, it's cedarwood, it's a ton of other citrus. And I can't get this comment out of my mind. I always... Uh, you know, go back to this. I, I remember hearing somebody say a long time ago that this fragrance smells like bug spray. And I do not agree with that. I think it does have a similarity to citronella because there's so much citrus in here, but this smells natural. It smells complex. There's so much heart and enthusiasm and dimension behind this fragrance. It opens up with a very strong orange note, but it's sort of vying for attention with that grapefruit note that's in the background as well. I do think the orange note is a little bit more concentrated though. And you don't really get the woody presence of the fragrance up until it has dried down into the skin. I'm talking about maybe two, two and a half hours into the development of the fragrance. You're also gonna get a lot of that uh, vetiver note. And what I like about the way that it's used in this fragrance is that it's the cleaner variety of vetiver. So like Mugler Cologne, original vetiver, not like Sycamore by Chanel or Ancre Noir or even Greylock by Fleur. It's going to be a cleaner vetiver. And for that reason, I think this one is highly wearable. I think you will get a lot of compliments from this one. And I remember talking to my friend Edward, AKA Frunkinator, here on YouTube. I was talking to him several years ago and he said that he initially didn't like this fragrance, but he recalls smelling it on a gentleman that was very well dressed and he said he pulled it off perfectly and he totally was able to see why this fragrance works and why it's a bestseller and why we still see it on the shelves in Macy's and Sephora because it's just a fantastic scent and it's a classic and at this point it's becoming a timeless scent. There's never a bad time to wear citrus. Citrus is never going to go out of date and I highly recommend you guys check this one out. So let's go ahead and finish things off by taking a look at my rating.
So first up, I took a look at the uniqueness and the overall smell, and for all of the citrus fragrances that are out there and what it's worth, this is a unique scent. Uh, you know, Jean-Claude Elena has sort of pioneered this transparent citrusy quality that is inherent and it has become the backbone and the DNA of many of his fragrances, and this one is no exception. And I love all of the flankers that this has created, like Eau Treffe Freisch, uh, which I absolutely love. It's actually a more citrusy interpretation of this, so um, I highly recommend you guys check this one out. And if you are looking forward to purchasing it, I'm gonna leave the information down below. I usually don't recommend blind buys, but if you have tried this before and you feel like it's just about that time that you got around to getting yourself a bottle of it, I highly recommend you do. I think it's a great fragrance. Longevity on this this one is pretty solid. I got about five to six hours given the concentration and the compositional nature and I think we're seeing that with Hermes. Hermes is one of those savvy brands that have decided to release their fragrances in Eau de Toilette and Eau de Parfum. Giorgio Armani is another one with uh, especially the uh, Narciso, uh, not Armani, Narciso Rodriguez, excuse me. Although Armani has done it too with fragrances like C by Armani where they'll release a Eau de Toilette and a Eau de Parfum. So I really love that about um, Hermes. Projection on this one is really good because citrus notes are comprised of a smaller molecular structure, so they're gonna be much more volatile. So as soon as you spray it on, it will be loud, so just be cautious of that. And then versatility on this one is great. Like I said, that anecdote that I shared earlier, it could be worn dressed up, dressed down. The citrus does make it casual to a certain degree, but the uh, refined quality of the woods is in the back there with the cedar wood and all of those other notes like the vetiver and whatnot. And then lastly, presentation. I think presentation is really cool. Everything from the color to the legs to the, the cap that twists into place, the distribution on the atomizer. If I were to give this fragrance an overall score, I'm gonna give it a five out of five. I think there's a reason why Terre d'Hermes is still selling for so well. There's a reason why I requested this scent. There's a reason why we're still seeing it on the shelves and why people are still wearing it and it's still getting men compliments the world over. So guys, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. That was my review on Terre d'Hermes by Hermes. If you own or have tried this scent, I would love to know what you think about it, so leave a comment down below. I always love to interact with you guys. And also, please don't forget to subscribe for future videos, and remember to enable notifications by clicking on that bell. Remember, I smell well so you can smell good, and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care, everybody.